Okay, next step. All right, now, uh, this side is basically supposed to be two sails. Okay, now really what you see is one. Uh, what we are going to do is just kind of imaginarily split this up by making a crease like from this corner here where our little side crease is ended. We're going to fold this somewhat down. That'd be like the main sail, and then we have the little top sail on the top, right? So we don't have to finish this all off yet, but just so you see the idea, you'll curve these a little bit, and then see with, especially if you have a light coming at an angle, it looks like you have, you see, two sails more or less. Okay, now we have to do something similar on the other side. Now, on a schooner, from what I've seen from all the photographs, I'm not an expert on schooners, uh, you have, and, sorry, it also depends on the schooner, there are different kinds of schooner, but the one we're doing has two uh, masts, basically, or, or two, two sets of sails, at least, and, uh, and they're very similar to each other. So here we have a big sail, the main sail, and the little top sail, and we're going to do another structure like that on this side, or at least we're going to make it look like we have another one like that. Also, there are several little sails in front, and one that goes a, kind of like a, a very thin one that goes from the top here down towards the front. Now let's look back at my finished model for a second so you see where we're going. Okay, um, and the lighting here perhaps isn't quite the best, but you see we have a little top sail and the main, well, I guess it's not the main sail, it's like the front sail, the lower front sail, and then what looks like one or maybe two little uh, triangular sails in the front, and also a little one that comes down the front. Okay, and unfortunately the lighting here isn't ideal, but you get the idea. Okay, so we'll take this front corner right here and fold it down to the line that's, or to the edge of the paper that's hidden inside. Remember we folded it down, okay. We're going to take this and fold it down so that it goes to this little corner here. And I'll, I'll illustrate that for you right now. See, it looks just like this. Now, to make it look a little bit more like there's two, we're going to take the bottom of this double layer. You see, it's you can open it up. It's got two layers. We're going to take the bottom layer here and rotate it a little bit. like that. Okay, so now it looks, you can see two, two triangles there. Okay, now we're going to take the other inside corner here, okay, and we're going to swivel it up. So we have to open this up a little bit and swivel like this and then fold it like that. Okay, so we have loosened up the inside and folded it up, right? So we started off with this, and we folded it up and folded it closed so that it sticks up like this, and this edge of the paper is parallel to this edge of the paper. Okay, now we'll turn it around for a moment, and we're going to fold this flap down along the crease that's already there. Just bring it down to the outside instead of down to the inside. Okay. Now, we are going to do kind of half of a pedal fold. Okay, we're going to stretch this back up and make a crease from this bottom corner to the middle angle and then back out to the top. Let me illustrate that. I didn't use very technical terms in that description. This is the sort of thing we want to do. We want to tuck in the edge a little bit and fold it up towards the top like this. Okay. And then fold this down to the other side like this.
Now, if we want to make this little top sail a little bigger, we can you see we have this paper on the inside. We can swivel that out a little bit, okay, just reaching in and swiveling that out. There we go. Okay, to make that little sail on the top a little bit bigger. Now, we're almost done. We're going to open up the bottom and take this edge of our little frame of George Washington and fold it to the middle. See, right down there. and fold the bottom edge also up to the middle. Now this end is the prow and so we're going to narrow it down by taking this little edge and folding it in to the middle and doing the same on the bottom. Okay, as so you can see that we folded those these edges into the middle. Then we fold the front of the the main part of the ship back down again, and we have it thinned out so that it looks like part of the, the ship is underwater. Oops. And just make those creases nice and sharp using a little bit of fingernail action. Okay. Now, actually, when I billowed the top sail, I billowed it billowed it towards back, we want to build it towards the front because we can't billow these little sails to the front. So what we can do is just bend the sail down a little bit, curve it outwards, make that, recrease that top sail a little bit so that it has a little separate curve to it. Okay, so it looks like it's catching the wind. Okay, so you've got the front. And then we can do the same thing on the back. Now remember here we're kind of imagining that we have one, two, three, four, or five sails here. Uh, you can make a little bit of a distinction perhaps when you crease them. The creasing them gives it more three-dimensionality and it makes it allows you to make a little bit more of a distinction in shape, at least in the curves, between the different sails. Finishing up that a little bit more here. There we go. Now let's maybe tilt the camera a little bit. It might get a little better of an angle, the shadows, so you can see this better. And I'll add a photograph to the end of this where you can see the details in more uh, in more relief. It gives a clearer view of how the sails uh, are distinct from each other. Well, I hope that this little very informal video might uh, be sufficient for someone with at least some origami skills to figure out how to fold this little schooner. And again, I'll show you a photograph at the end that illustrates better what the schooner is actually supposed to look like. So I hope you've enjoyed folding this, if you have had success and if I've managed to explain myself more or less. And I'd appreciate your feedback. Thank you.